to show you how they look and look at them this is how they look those are beef tips now you can make your gravy a little darker than that you can make the uh, the roux powder you don't put in all you just put some broth in a powder and you let it uh, cook with the um, in the crock pot so here's one right here that I took out and I want you to see how tender it is. Look at that. See how tender that is? It's fog tender, y'all. And it's melt in your mouth. It is so good. My oven is ready to put something in there. I'm going to put a cake in. So what I'm going to do is, what you do, you see this all? This grease. You just skim it off the top. Just like this. That's the grease. And that is from the extra fat that comes on the um, beef tips when you sell them. This is so good, y'all. It's tender. It's good. You just skim this off just like this before you serve it over a bed of rice or potatoes, whatever you want. This is what it is, y'all. This is the end results of my beef tips. And you can put it over potatoes or rice or whatever you desire. This is the end results. And man, they are delicious. Now, you can put a little gravy on your beef tips like this. And eat them just naturally. Or just black pepper and salt. Or you can put any spices you want on your beef tips. But I prefer to eat mine the natural way. With the rice, the um, the gravy that made with it, and the uh, black pepper and salt, and that's the natural way to eat it. Mmm, and it's so tender and so good, y'all. You can taste that beef flavor, not covered up. You want it to be a natural cup, a natural taste. You can put Worcestershire sauce in here if you want. But I don't want to put anything to take that natural beef away. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel. I'm skimming some of the fat off so you don't want to have serve the fat. Because it's going to be fat. But just skim it while it's get cool. So after this presentation, I will show you how to make these wonderful beef tips to go for rice. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is what I call my beef tips and rice. Yes, indeed. Everyone loves beef tips and rice. Well, not everyone, but some people love beef tips and rice. Yes, they do, especially when they're tender and have that flavorful taste. Yes, that's what I love them about them. That's what I love about them. When they have that flavorful taste and tender... And I chew it just right. This I'm going to show you how to do them. What you're going to do, you're going to need some flour. And you're going to need to put some salt. You need some salt in the flour. And you're going to need some black pepper. They go in the flour just like this. And you're going to stir this around. Now you can put any season you want. I always tell you that. Put any season you want in your dish. Now, I'm going to put extra black pepper in mine because I love black pepper. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just do what you know what you like. Now, I always get a chuck roast. A chuck roast is the best. They had these on sale, and I got it about maybe a month ago, two months ago. So, now I'm getting ready to serve it. So, what I'm doing is cut them in scripts like this. I'll cut it in scripts just like this while it's thawed out. Because I'm going to put this in the crock pot to make them tender and delicious. So I'm cutting them in the strips like this. Just like that, y'all. Just like this. Because it's easy to do them like this instead of cutting them in strips when they, when they get done. So you just cut it in strips like this. Just like this, y'all. Now you leave that marbling in there. Because the marbling will give us the flavor. So you cut them in bite pieces. Just like that. 
And we're going to stir these. We're going to put them in some oil and sure to sear them on both sides. So what we're doing now is cutting them up. Now this could be another little piece right here. Just like this. Hope y'all can see that in the camera. You know I have a tendency to throw y'all off the camera. So we're going to make sure these is all cut just like this. Gonna put them like this. And see they be already in their sides. So you don't have to be trying to cut it and everything when you when they get done at the crock pot. We're going to let these cook overnight. And in the morning, we have them ready. We're going to have them on low so it can be already tender and everything. Just like this, okay? We're just cutting all this up like this. Get them in scripts. And we're going to fry them. And let's see, we're going to make sure that they are delicious. And we'll be right back with the finish while we're getting ready to fry them. We'll be right back. All right, we're getting ready to share them in this oil. So we're just turning them in this flour and laying them in just like that. You don't want to overcrowd them because they will start sizzling. You want them to have a fry on them, a brown fry on them. So we're going to put that many in. And we're going to let you see what it looks like when we come back when we fry most of them. I'm going to fry this batch first, and we'll come back and let you see the other batch. All right. They're sear on both sides. So what we're going to do is take them and put them in the crock pot, just like that. You don't want no oil and grease. And they're not going to be totally run, done, but make sure that the crock pot is already hot so it can speed up the action. Of cooking so we put these in the crock pot and we're going to add some more to get brown just like this that's the step that we're doing so we're not doing them all at once we're doing them some at a time so they can help them brown we got them in the crock pot right here so that you know that the hot crock pot is still hot and then we got them in here now at this point, you can put your season in. When we get through browning these, we're going to show you what the season you put in. Because we want these to be tender and flavorful. And that's what we're going to do next when we come back. All right, here's the second batch. And we're going to put them in the crock pot. Like that. in the crock pot, they all brown on both sides, see that, they brown, brown on this side, they brown on this side, they brown on this side, and they brown on this side. I'm going to stir them. I'm going to add the extra one. That's the last batch, I think. I believe that was a three pound roast that I bought. So this batch is going to make enough for about four people. And we're going to let this brown and we'll be right back. Alright, this is our third batch. And we add it to the crock pot. The third batch of our rib chips. And we add it to the crock pot. Just like this. And I would like for you to keep this pot with the renderings in because we're going to use that later on for our onions. We're going to use this for our rendering just like this. We're going to get a little brown, a little brown. I'll just push it to the side and let it get kind of toasted more. Just like that. We'll do that right back. All right, we're going to add the flour that we did the dipping and the drizzling in. We're going to add that, and we're going to add it to the renderings, just like this. We want to get this brown. Get a good old brown brownness to it. It don't have to have any more oil. We just want a little brown to it. We're going to work with it just like this. It's sort of like a roux, y'all. Just like a roux. You getting all those flavors into this flour. And getting a color on the flour, just like this. That's what we're gonna do. 
can get the color to add to this. So we're just going to work it like this, y'all, until we get a brownish, and we'll be right back. All right, I forgot to show y'all how the flower is supposed to look to brownness of the flower. After it got through doing a root color, I added some broth in. So we're going to let this not get thick. We're going to just let it get uh, sort of blended together. And we're going to add some black pepper and salt to it. Just like this. And we're going to add some more salt. Now you can put any ingredients that you like. And it's herbs or whatever. And spices. But right now we're not going to do all that. We're just going to put the broth in. And make a little gravy like this. Now we're going to add onions. To it just like that on top. Add some onions. And then we're going to. I dropped the pepper y'all. The salt. We're going to add the onions to this. And we're going to pour this into this. We'll be right back. All right. Our beef tips are done. And I want to show you how they look. And look at them. This is how they look. Those are beef tips. Now, you can make your gravy a little darker than that. You can make the, uh, the roux powder. You don't put in all. You just put some broth in a powder, and you let it uh, cook with the um, in the crock pot. So here's one right here that I took out, and I want you to see how tender it is. Look at that. See how tender that is? It's far tender, y'all. And it's melt in your mouth. It is so good. My oven is ready to put something in there. I'm gonna need to put a cake in. So what I'm going to do is, what you do, you see this all, this grease, you just skim it off the top, just like this, that's the grease, and that is from the extra fat that comes on the um, beef tips when you sell them. This is so good, y'all. It's tender, it's good, you just skim this off just like this.